mid-July through mid-August, communities across Japan, uh, across Japan celebrate Oban, which is a three-day festival to honor their ancestors. And after dark on the final evening, families light paper lan lanterns to float on nearby rivers. Pretty cool stuff. Um, and here to tell us more about this and when you can actually go and make your very own paper lantern, we're kind of doing a fun thing with this at the Albuquerque right. Biopark, is Maria Thomas. Welcome. Uh, the assistant curator at the ABQ Biopark Botanic Garden. So welcome. So excited. This is so cool. And we were just talking about some of these designs you already have. The kids did these. They are beautiful. So yeah. uh, first we want to ask you, tell us a little bit about kind of the, the Japanese floating lanterns, just the history behind them. Oh, well, it's a three-day festival, as you said, and um, it's um, similar to our Dia de Muertos, where we honor ancestors. And so we spend three days with music and celebrating. And it's kind of evolved in a into a tradition where families come together and celebrate during this time. And so we thought it would be a nice way. We had um, 11 youth delegates from Sasebo, Japan, our sister city, come uh, to Albuquerque. Oh, wow. And so we thought it would be a great way to kind of commemorate this event with their host siblings there at the Japanese garden yesterday. Okay. So the lanterns you see here, they created yesterday. And then um, tomorrow, Thursday night at the Summer Nights, we're going to go ahead and do another demonstration so people can learn about it do and this. do it on their own. Okay. And then we'll set the lanterns out on the pond at that time. Wow, fantastic. Okay, so we're going to make one or two, I guess. you. She got a jump start on me, guys. So. Right. <laughs> but we're going to make some right here on air. So what do, we, what do we do, or how do, can people go about doing this at home? Well, this is Yupo paper, Y-U-P-O. It's a special wax, translucent paper that you can get at craft stores or online. Oh, and why, why, why is the special paper? Is it just? Um, it just for flame, outdoor is it flame use. Retardant well, I, I tend to use these little the LED, LED tea lights for safety's sake. Um, but yeah, um, ideally, if you wanted to put a tea light in it, it would be slightly more flame retardant. Okay. It's more resistant to the weather as well, so it's kind of uh -huh. waxy. Um, I'm which drawing is, as you continue right. to talk about this. And so what I did this morning is um, I did some little cutouts with a craft knife, and oh. um, that way the light will kind of shine through it. So there's different varieties that you can do. Yeah, and then that's fancy. It's basically a 9 by 12 sheet of paper that we do a series of folds so that we're creating the sides. You can also do a round lantern and not fold it at all. Oh, um, okay. And it's not quite equal because you want a slight dog tail at the end. Gotcha. And so then you just basically fold your lantern and you really have to get these folds. Really crease. Yes, so that okay. they'll stand up. And then what I like to use is a little craft glue. Ooh, getting crafty this morning. Yeah, let's see if we can get it to come out. Okay. All right, guys, this is so cool. It's not so we always folded cool. our paper. Hers is going to be so cool and it's all lit up. I just drew a little cloud with some rainfall, just a little something for my blank <laughs> canvas. Wishful thinking. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. And you can use basically uh, Sharpie markers, watercolors, any type of art media that you want on these. Okay. Um, if they're outdoor, the markers probably work better. If yeah. you're going to keep them indoor, you can use the watercolors. And okay. then just so that the glue has time to dry, Ooh, because see. this is a very heavyweight paper, we're going to go ahead and paper clip the edges here. Okay, so then quickly tell us a little bit about this event tomorrow night as we finish off our paper lanterns. So starting at about 7 o'clock we'll be doing a brief demonstration on how to uh, create these yourself out um, in the Japanese garden at the ABQ Biopark. And then at the concert intermission, the summer night's concert intermission, we're going to go ahead and put these out onto the pond um, that'll be about 7.45 or so, oh, and then cool. we'll let them float out there for about... Float all lit up at yes, night. It'll it's be, gonna be beautiful. beautiful. Okay, fantastic. And then this is the final piece. Oh, final piece. If you want it oh, to float. Oh, it sits, obviously. Right. It has to have a little boat underneath and it. And what you do is you just crease the sides again and do a nice little corner fold so to keep the sides up. That's okay. key. And you said people are going to be able to do this tomorrow. We're going to have to wrap this up quickly, and they'll oh, be able sure. to learn how to do this on your own tomorrow, and then you can set it off and let it float away uh, on the pond. But if you want right. a link uh, to this event, you can go to our website, casa.com, and click, click on the CASA blog.